Welcome back to STL Live. I'm Raina Ray, and my guest is Dr. Sharon West of Affinia Healthcare. And we are really talking about the opioid crisis slash epidemic in the United States. But now we're going to talk about the hope for people who are addicted or people who love or people who are addicted. Absolutely. So let's talk a little bit more about the MAP program. Okay, so our program is a 10-day intensive outpatient treatment program. So for 10 days, they can come to our facility. They will um, have their, their introduction to the, the treatment, the medication that will help them transfer off of the opioid into Suboxone is the treatment of choice that we're using. And in addition to the medication treatment, it's comprehensive. We have uh, intensive individual therapy. We have case management. We have family support. And then we have six months of aftercare with our patients that go through our 10-day intensive program. So it's very comprehensive. So a couple of things that are great that you just said there. One is that you don't just drop them when they're done. You make no, sure you stay absolutely. with them to give them the support that they need because I know that support is key to anybody who's trying to kick yes. a habit. And that's why we include the family support component. So it's not just the individual uh, group an individual treatment. It's not just case management. We also bring in their family or a support system as well. And then we also continue with the aftercare. Now, let me ask you this. You're trying to help them get off of a drug, but you're doing it with the help of another drug. Tell mm -hmm. me how those two, how that happens. Why is that happening? Absolutely. Because it's such a physical addiction. Part of the reason why people don't stop using opioids and heroin and, and the pain medicines that they're taking because of the physical addiction. So this medicine helps the body adjust. It, it, it attaches to the same receptor sites and it gets so scientific. Um, so it helps them with the illness and the physical component of the addiction. Right, I was gonna ask you to, to tell us what is a physical addiction? What does that mean? It means that your body is craving it. It means that when you don't have it, you're physically ill. You're throwing up, you have diarrhea, you're sweating. And so a lot of people, can t they, they seek out the, the drug because of the withdrawal symptoms. Because it feels and this so feels much so worse bad. It feels so much worse. it in your system. Exactly. And so this medication helps them go through that physical addiction. And that's why we feel we're being very responsible by not just doing the medication, but also doing the therapy component, the psychological addiction that you now have as well as the physical. All right. I loved someone at one point in my life that had a really serious addiction and I learned that most of the time they don't want to do what they're Absolutely. doing at all they don't know how they don't know where to get answers they feel terrible about themselves and they really want to be whole again mm -hmm. so it's it's not you know some people say well why do they do it and why, why can't they just, they just stop, stop? Exactly. Talk about that. Well, that's the part we're talking about, that they just can't stop because they become so ill that they need it physically. And that's why we do the medication assistant treatment. And then that's why we do the, the individual and the group counseling and the case management. How? And then the aftercare to, to keep them, you know, connected when they have the triggers and, and when they potentially relapse. Now, if somebody's out there watching this some way, somehow, and they think, boy, I really know somebody who could benefit from this, or boy, I'd really like some help. What's their first step? To give us a call at the 814-8606, which I'm sure they're gonna flash on the screen. Um, so when they, they give us a call, we will do an assessment. We'll do an assessment with our um, behavioral health staff, and then we'll do an assessment with the physician who will determine if they're healthy enough to do the outpatient treatment, because this is all done outpatient. This isn't done inpatient at all. So, so it's not like if you check, you get checked into the hospital and you're gone away from life for these 10 days. No. You're, you're being taught coping exactly. skills on how to In still function. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. And what's the cost of this? Well, the cost varies. And so it's covered completely by Medicaid and Medicare. And we have a Gateway to Better Health that it's covered by. And then, we, and then for the uninsured, there's a sliding fee. So it, it varies. Well, no, that's but we what, will work with them. Right, that's what I wanted to get out there, that it doesn't matter what your situation is, that mm -hmm. you really just want to help and yes. that you will work with everybody who qualifies for the program. Exactly. Thank you so much for this great work that you're doing. Thank Please you for don't having stop. me. Please Thank don't you. stop doing what you're doing. Thank you. If you or someone you know is interested in Affinia's Medical Assisted Treatment Program, call 314-814-8606. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.